Good day, everybody. Just wanted to show y'all something here. These cattle, they are down, their heads down in the ground. They're just steadily eating. What they're eating is not a good thing. They're eating acorns right now. I wanted to show y'all some of these acorns here. Hey, girl. I wanted to show y'all this. <clears throat> so these are the acorns that they're eating. And they're still, I wanted to show y'all, I wanted to talk about this because this is something that's very deadly for cattle. Now, if they just eat a few like they're doing right now, it's not necessarily going to hurt them. The problem is, they're going to sit right here and eat all of these acorns. So we cannot leave them right here. So as soon as I get off this video, we're going to, we're going to push them off of this and make sure that they can't stand here because they're going to stand here and eat these all day long. So it's not that them coming over here and taking a bite of the acorns is really going to be what gets them. It's the fact that they'll sit here and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat until they're all gone. Okay. And some cattle are more inclined to sit here and eat than other cattle are. Okay. Some of them are going to be a lot worse off than those other cattle and you want to you want to watch that we just now ran them in here and they just immediately went right to to here now i knew that these oak trees were here the plan is, is to push them right through here and that's one of the nice things about sheep is that sheep can actually eat these sheep and pigs can actually eat these acorns um goats can as well and it won't hurt them at all it's actually a good feed for them okay that's one of the nice things about having sheep but we don't have sheep here at the moment, so we can't run them on this farm. So these cattle, you want to be really, really careful about that because there are certain things in your pastures that's going to that could potentially kill your cattle if you're not really careful. But I wanted to show you what to look for. <clears throat> these acorns right here are actually starting to turn brown. They've still got a little green left in them, okay? And that's what you want to be cautious about. The solid brown acorn is not as bad now I'm not saying that you want necessarily to put them on there what I'm saying is they're not going to be as toxic okay but as long as those acorns have any green like that on them at all that's when the toxin is the highest in that acorn okay so we're gonna see if we can find some more um, it, some of these has even still got the yellow to them came from the green it was solid green it turns yellow some of them and then it turns brown so even that yellow you don't want that yellow in there. You want it to turn completely brown. Okay, you want it to be as brown as that tip right there. You want the whole, all of the acorns to be all the way brown. Okay, or at least that's this species. Um, it, you know, every acorn, depending on the type of tree it is, like those uh, white, uh, white oak acorns, those big white oak acorns, those are some big old acorns and they don't turn quite as brown as this. Okay, so you gotta kinda know the color but the point is they're not that fresh um, acorn, okay? When they first come down, they're really, really fresh. The more frost you get, the colder they get, and the longer they've been off the tree, the browner they get and the less that toxin get, builds up in there. So that's something you really wanna watch for is those, um, those acorns can really be a problem. So we're gonna move these cows off of here. We're gonna push them up. Oh, I'm sorry, puppy. Come here, puppy walks up behind me sometimes I don't even know she's there uh, we're gonna move these cows forward come on cows get up get up get up we're getting them up into the working pens here come on guys get up hey move up guys come on move up hey move up that dog she's finally starting to understand her her uh, herding dog instincts I don't know if she'll ever make a good herding dog but she does watch me and that's a good thing the most important thing for a herding dog is a dog that watches you that will listen to you even if they aren't real smart even if they aren't great if they'll watch you and and obey you and they'll come to you when you tell them to and they'll stay when you tell them to that's the most important thing okay she's not all uh well she does have it's mostly herding dog in her breed it's not completely so i don't know that she'll ever make a good herding dog she's just a good pet but as long as she can, as long as she'll listen to me, she, I'll be fine to have her out here with me. It's like this one right here. She is a hundred percent herding dog. Okay. But 
you, you wouldn't know it. She doesn't even try to hurt animals. But it's it's fine because she never, uh, she won't, she'll do everything I tell her to do. She'll listen to me. She'll do what I tell her to do. She respects me. So that's a good thing. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch on that with the acorns. We're going to push these cattle up, start getting them worked tomorrow. Um, but I just wanted to touch on that. So y'all be careful. Watch out for those acorns and don't let them uh, get too close to them acorns. Don't let them have too much of the acorns. A bite or two like they just had, that's fine. But don't let them have too much until after the green is gone. All right, guys. Like and subscribe.